Hello and welcome on Tuesday, June the 11th. I don't know why I did that. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I haven't done today's question yet, because uh, I got home from second work, and uh, I needed to make this fluff. I needed to make this fluff, because um, so, I need to get it in the, the potluck that we're having at work. It's tonight, so I need to put it in the fridge for a bit and let it set up. And then I need to street fight. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> but uh, it kind of became a collaborative effort because um, for some reason uh, they decided to make this potluck breakfast themed. And I was like, how do you make a fluff breakfast themed? And uh, my friend Jennifer came up with the idea to make, you know, like banana. Um, because, you know, there's like the banana pudding th stuff that you can get, like usually at, like Chinese buffets and stuff. Um, that's kind of what I thought she meant. Um, and then I got the idea that it's like I could make like a fruit cocktail fluff. Uh, kind of similar to how my mom makes her Watergate salad. And she does it a little bit different than, um, it's actually a little bit simpler than I usually make the cookie fluffs. Because cookie fluffs I'd use, um like milk, I used cream cheese. It, this did not use any of any of that. It did use um, two of these, so like, and I make a lot because this is for, you know, a potluck dinner at work. And actually it makes, uh, if you haven't seen my bowl, this is my bowl, it makes quite a fluckin' lot. Um, but yeah, so it's like 32 ounces of the ripped topping. And then you need two boxes of whatever pudding mix that you're going to do. Um, I ended up going with banana because uh, Mary Lee kind of suggested that after uh, a, a second time after uh, Jennifer kind of did. And I thought, well, yeah, that'll actually add a little extra, add a little extra like you know fruit flavor in there. And it does. I've taken, I've taken, I, I snuck a spoon as I was cleaning everything off. <laughs> so I ended up using, I almost used vanilla. I was thinking about using vanilla, just regular. And I'm glad that uh, the idea for banana cream was put in my head because that makes it a heck of a lot better. And then I ended up doing uh, two cans of, of the fruit cocktail. Um, and the first one, because that's the way when, when mom makes her Watergate salad, uh, she leaves the juice in. Unfortunately, all I could find was heavy syrup. I couldn't find anything with light syrup, well, at least in this size. Um, <clears throat> maybe it was there, maybe we were out of it, I don't know. Um, I was trying to grab everything really fast this morning because <laughs> I wanted to get home and take a nap before second work. Um, but uh, the way mom does it is because uh, uh, you mix the, um, you put the Cool Whip in, and then you put your pudding mix in, and you start mixing that up, and it can get kind of thick, you know? So, uh, at least the first can, when I dumped the first can in, I left the syrup with it, because that helped keep it moist, and wet, wet and moist, um, because people love those words. Uh, this, a big, but it, it seemed to be moist enough after the first can, so I did drain, I did drain the syrup off of the second, um, one of these, so just so that it wouldn't get too slimy, I guess. <laughs> um, and then just because, you know, it's fun and it adds a little extra oomph to the salad, or, well, the dessert, whatever, fluff, I uh, did some marshmallows. I put some marshmallows in there. I thought about doing the uh, the fruity marshmallows. That's another, I mean, option if you wanted to do it that way. But I was worried that it might um, kind of take over the flavor because those 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 uh, fruity marshmallows can be very strong. So I didn't want them to like overpower everything else in there. So I just went with like regular little, little mini marshmallows. And uh, now I have my uh, uh, fruit cocktail, uh, breakfast, breakfast theme fluff. And it's actually, I mean, some of these, when I tip them up, they want to like come out of the bowl. This one is not. 
uh, <laughs> which is nice. So you can really get in there and see it. I should have maybe used, um, I kind of wanted to get, but they were smaller cans. We didn't have bigger cans of the, like, uh, the extra cherries. Because I don't know, personally, I like the cherries the best. But cherries and the grapes. Um, you know, that's what when I'm digging out. Because some places, like there, that hotel up north near Escanaba, Michigan, that we stayed at. Oh, it's right on the water that I can't think of. I meant to look it up before I started this video, and now I don't know. Um, uh, it's on the outskirts of, uh, of Escanaba. Um, ter Terrace Bay? Terrace Bay? Something, I think, maybe? Um, we haven't stayed there in a while because they kind of started renovating and it, it had like old school charm. Maybe not, maybe that wasn't for everybody, but mom and I liked it, you know? <laughs> and then there was the whole deal where they switched owners and mom had just earned a free night. And then she ended up, um, she came back the next year to use her free night and they had a new owner and the new owner didn't, didn't, uh, you know, didn't accept the, uh, didn't accept the free night, so mom ended up having to put more money out on the vacation than she expected. So kind of after that, she was like, okay, we're not staying there anymore. <laughs> but, you know, honor, that's the word I was looking for. The new owner didn't honor the the free night thing that, you know, we'd stayed there enough to earn, but whatever. That's a total aside. But yes, Terrace Bay, um, they would actually put out a fruit cocktail every morning, you know, as one of the options there on their little, you know, bar or whatever. So I would always be like taking out as many, I, I would take a little bit of everything, but I would take like extra grapes and extra cherries because <laughs> that's my favorite personally. Um, so there is like, you know, extra cherry uh, fruit, I almost said fruit punch, uh, fruit cocktail available to use for this if you want to, or you can, I guess you can just get some like maraschino cherries and cut them up and add them in yourself. Like that's, the, that's the, once again, uh, as I say with every fluff that I've made so far, like there's a lot of different options. You can go a lot of different ways with it. Like no, no two fluffs are the same sometimes, you know, because you use different ingredients, you use different this, that, and the other. Um, this is actually the second fluff. I've made this week so far because my aunt's life celebration uh, was this past weekend. Uh, my aunt who came out of a coma, so we like celebrate her rebirth kind of thing every year. So it's, uh, she's still alive. I wanted to, I wanted to clarify that because I said life celebration to somebody the other day and they're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, 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 she's still alive. <laughs> she came out of the coma, she was reborn. So we're like celebrating her, you know, life celebration every year. Um, 40, 40th year? Was it the 40th year this year? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so I made a fluff for that, but it was just like a regular cookies and cream fluff, uh, but instead of using like regular Oreos, I used the birth cake Oreos. So, um, it's actually, I've got Heather's, Heather's portion still here in the, uh, uh, in the fridge. Ow, I just stuck my toe on the fridge. But yeah, that's the, that's the cookies and cream fluff with the with a uh, uh, birthday cake. I don't know if you can see any of the fun birthday cakeitiness, but nakedy cakeity. But uh, so yeah, and now, you know, I come to find out we're having this potluck dinner at work tonight and it, it's breakfast themed. So uh, fruit cocktail. Actually, I was not the only one to think, I was not the only one, because other people, uh, I think maybe even Heather said something about, she was thinking about making a fruit salad, but then I came up with this idea. So, <laughs> it may just be all fruit salad, who knows. Uh, but, that's a quick, simple little, um, little, and it's, it's really good. I mean, if you like fruit, I guess, you have to like fruit, but, because I kind of took a, took a spoon of it. I was like, mm, very good, very good. Uh, I might have to take another spoon before I put it back in the fridge. <laughs> but anyway, that's just a quick little simple something. Um, now I will, I have myself some potatoes over here. So if you can see them, besides all my other shit I have sitting over there. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I need to eat my potatoes before I fall asleep. But I also need to answer today's question, so I'm going to do that next probably after I get this in the fridge. And uh, I'll see you for what I see you.